Recorded books and one-click digital present Beyond Sunrise by Mary Balog, narrated by Rosalind Lander. England, 1799. Chapter 1. The entertainment in progress at Haddington Hall in Sussex, country seat of the Marquis of Kinney, could not exactly be dignified by the name of Ball, though there was dancing, and the sounds of music and gaiety were wafting from the open windows of the main drawing-room. It was a country entertainment, and the numbers not large, there being only two guests staying at the house at that particular time to swell the ranks of the local gentry. It was not a ball, but the boy sitting out of sight of the house on the seat surrounding the great marble fountain below the terrace wished that he was inside and a part of it all. He wished that reality could be suspended, and that he could be there dancing with her, the dark-haired, dark-eyed young daughter of his father's guest, or at least looking at her, and perhaps talking with her, perhaps fetching her a glass of lemonade. He wished, oh, he wished for the moon, as he always did. A dreamer, that was what his mother had often called him, but there were two insurmountable reasons for his exclusion from the assembly. He was only seventeen years old, and he was the Marquis's illegitimate son. That last fact had had particular meaning to him only during the past year and a half, since the sudden death of his mother. Through his childhood, and much of his boyhood, it had seemed a normal way of life to have a father who visited him and his mother frequently, but did not live with them and a father who had a wife in the big house, though no other children but him. It was only in the year and a half since his mother's death that the reality of his situation had become fully apparent to him. He had been a fifteen-year-old boy without a home, and with a father who had...